Okay, so let's do a quick example showing you how to calculate the radius of an ion in a certain end level or excited state or the ground state, depending on the problem. And we're using the Bohr model for this calculation. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is remind ourselves what equation we're talking about. And so the radius of any atom or ion, one electron atom or ion, at a given n level is equal to n squared times a sub naught, which is the Bohr radius, divided by z, which is still the atomic number. So this is the radius at whatever n that is, okay? So it's the radius of the orbit. Okay, so, and let's also remind ourselves that the Bohr radius is 52.9 picometers, okay? And also, um, we have a beryllium 3 plus ion, so that's a one electron ion, so we are allowed to use the Bohr model, but what is Z for beryllium? Okay, and Z for beryllium is 4, that's right. Okay, so now we're ready to do the calculations. So we want to do, oh, and the third excited state. So what N is that? So third excited state. Ground state is n equals 1, first excited state n equals 2, so the third excited state is n equals 4. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and do that. So the radius of this beryllium ion in the n equals 4 level, so the size of this orbit, the radius of this orbit is 4 squared times a sub naught, which is 52.9 picometers over Four, okay, and so let's go ahead and fill in four squared, fifty-two point nine picometers. Notice those are the only units in the problem, okay. So R four is going to be equal to four times fifty-two point nine picometers, okay. And so I canceled out one of these squared fours, okay, with the one on the bottom, all right, and we end up with 211.6 picometers, okay, and let's go ahead and make it 212 picometers. Okay, so that's the way you calculate the radius for a given Bohr orbit for a given ion. So, of course, if this were hydrogen, which you'll often be asked questions that involve hydrogen, that would just be equal to one. Z would just be one. So just put that in there and then so then you'd only need N and A sub naught. 